Folks, we are now going to do a quick little video on the muscles of the rotator cuff. The rotator cuff. All right, the rotator cuff is this name, this nickname, that's given to four muscles that are going to stabilize the shoulder joint. Remember, ball and socket joints, because they're so mobile, are at risk for dislocation. So it's nice to have muscles that can stabilize them. Now the four muscles are the subscapularis, that's one, then the infraspinatus, that's two, and then the teres minor, that's three, and number four is the supraspinatus. These are the four of them. I don't see much of my subscapularis in this picture here because the subscapularis is an anterior muscle. The other three, I can see the supraspinatus above the spine, infraspinatus below the spine, and the teres minor. Teres means rounded, minor means little. So these are my four. Now, I like to think that these guys, that this group sits on the shoulder and I spell sits with mostly capital letters and a lowercase t. This is my mnemonic device for my four muscles of the rotator cuff. Subscapularis, infraspinatus, teres minor. Notice I made it a little t because it is a minor. And then supraspinatus. All right. So let's look at these four guys on the model. Let's talk about what, exactly what they do. We're going to start in the front over here on, on the left. This is an anterior view. And in this anterior view, I can see the subscapularis. It's in that, on that concave face of the scapula. Now, because it is in the front, it is going to rotate your clavicle inward, not your clavicle, shoot, your humerus inward or medially. So it's a medial rotator. So remember this group is called the rotator cuff. So not surprisingly, a lot of the muscles in it are going to be rotator muscles. Um, so that's the subscapularis. It's going to medially rotate your humerus. Plus, because it's on the inside of the humerus, it is also going to adduct it, meaning it is going to bring it in towards your body. So it's working with the pec major, it's working with the lats in doing that. All right, so that does it for that left-hand side, that anterior view. If we look at the posterior view, which I have on the right, we're going to see the other three members of the rotator cuff, starting with this guy right here, this guy right there. Let's draw a picture around him. Notice that he is superior to the spine of the scapula. There's the spine of the scapula. He's superior to the spine. That's why he's called the supraspinatus. So because he is above your spine of the scapula, so because he's above, think about him pulling the humerus up and out. That's abduction. Think about doing like jumping jack arms. That's abduction of the humerus. And that is what the supraspinatus does. Now, if we go right below the spine, if we go right below the spine, we got this guy right here. This, and we don't actually see all of him because the deltoid is covering part of him. That guy right there is going to be the infraspinatus. That guy is our infraspinatus. All right, this infraspinatus, because he's below the spine, he's going to bring our humerus in. So think about bringing it down. So that's going to be adduction. Because he's behind the humerus, he is going to rotate it back. In other words, out. In other words, he is going to be a lateral rotator. All right. If we now look at our final muscle, of this group, 
We see him just right here, a little chunk of a thing right there. That guy right there is our Teres Minor. Notice that he is a neighbor to this Infraspinatus. They're neighbors, they're buddies. They do the exact same thing. The Teres Minor, like the Infraspinatus, is a lateral rotator and an adductor. All right. Let's switch up pictures here. I think I want to show you one more picture. I should remember, shouldn't I? Yeah, I wanted to show you this one. Whoops, I didn't want to go back that far or go forward that far. If I look on this model, so on this model, we cannot see the subscapularis because it's in the front, but we totally can see this guy right here. Bum, 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 bum music in the background there. That guy right there is the infraspinatus. And we can see his beautiful neighbor. Gorgeous muscle right here. I know you guys are loving these muscle videos. How could you not? They're so much fun. Right there. That guy is, of course, our Teres Minor. So we can see those two. We can't see the supraspinatus because it's covered by Mr. Trapezius up here. So on this guy, we can see two of the four muscles of the rotator cuff. And with that, folks, our video on the rotator cuff is done and done. If I can actually stop the video. There we go. See you later.